Hello there, I'm Sir Fancy and today I would like to show you a free plugin that will let you create Minecraft worlds or at least worlds that are very similar to Minecraft. So right here you can see that I have randomly generated one. If I click on that again nothing happens because I need to change seed. So let's set seed to around 25. And again let's change it a few more times just to see what it does. And you can of course not only generate it in two directions which means surface, we can also generate it as volume and create worlds like that. It doesn't need to be worlds, you can use it just like random objects and I will of course show you how to set it all up in blueprints etc etc. Let's clear that, change something, attack etc etc etc. So before showing you how it works let's stop that and look where you can get it. It's just a free plugin on Unreal Engine Marketplace, it's called Free Perlin Noise, you will have link in the description everything here it was created by Xalar and if you click on his profile you can also find here noise suite which is basically just an advanced version of this one so if you are looking for a few more stuff for example different noises you can definitely find it here and buy it it's like six bucks or five bucks it's really cheap I don't know exactly if you get back here in the free parallel noise let's scroll down and find here introduction example project if you open it you can find it here download example project that i will be showing you and of course download some simple instructions you have here two different options here is a surface demo and volume demo and we'll start with surface i will show you everything here because difference between them is not any pretty much it's almost the same if you look at that you basically just set here uh, two different directions x and y and in volume you just set one more so differences between them are really minimal all right so let's create a copy of that surface demo so let's right click duplicate it and just surface test you don't need to do that i will just show you how it all works etc etc so if you just look at it you have here a few different settings first of all you can see that on event begin play it will add our controls we don't need that anymore and on event generate which was probably triggered by clicking on that button pretty sure it was then it will spawn all these so this is basically code to spawn those randomly generated words so we'll delete that we don't want that we want to do that on event begin play and let's start by looking into viewport because in viewport we have here this cube which you can see but it's here and what it basically is is just instance mesh component where you can set from what meshes it will be created and from what materials so if you set here different materials and mesh which we will do later it will have them as base so let's go back into event graph and if you look at that first thing it will do once you start it and start the generation process it will get our noise seed which we will probably later choose randomly but right now let's just leave it to zero seed is basically a random num number that it will use to generate that wall so you probably want to have it something random then it will delete every single instance of that cube if there is some which it shouldn't but it's good way it's good idea to just check if something is and in that case delete it and then we have two for loops and what for loops basically do is to create some action um, in this case 40 times because it will do it from minus 20 to 20 so it will 40 times to this thing which means adding instance to some specific location and that specific location it will take right from here which means from index of those four loops if you just want to imagine it let's say it starts from location minus 20 takes it times 10 and slowly builds different meshes on those locations then you can also set here amplitude scale and we will go into that in a moment but right now let's just see what happens when you generate it i'm afraid that actually nothing will happen and you of course need to put it in the game so let's take our surface test and put it right here make sure that we don't have here any other surfaces let's click on play and it created something but right now it looks just like one desk or something like that but if we press f1 you can say it's actually created from a lot of different little cubes so what i would want to do is start by randomizing the noise let's put here just 54 just now and it's still the same see that nothing happens but that probably means noise has nothing to do with that so you have to look into setting right here i would start by changing levels because right now levels is zero and if i remember correctly uh, it's written in the documentation so if i say something wrong i would recommend you to also read the documentation you have to use different levels on how high and low it will basically go which is also inflected by amplitude so let's say levels two five all right let's put it down here to see what's actually happening here by clicking on play you can see still nothing happens adding just levels won't 
change anything. So let's also do something with scale. Let's add scale to about 15. It should give us some nice result. And look at that. We are starting to have here something quite interesting. Let's put it even higher. Let's do 120. That's probably too much, but I don't think that to, cha to change that we will actually use scale. Let's try to look into amplitude. Because if you change amplitude, it should also change how big are those different waves it creates basically there. I just did quick Google to find Perlin noise because it's probably better to know how Perlin noise looks, which it basically is something like that. And it will use those black areas to create a higher or lower space. So if we lower amplitude, it should also lower how big is that black dot on Perlin noise. So click on 30 and it doesn't look like that. Seems like I really overdid it with the, I really overdid it with that scale. Alright, all right, let's try like 15. And we are getting somewhere. Now let's try to change that amplitude one more time. Let's try only 10. So let's look at our fade films for scale and for amplitude. So what fade we should accomplish is that basically we have highest point, let's say the blackest part of the dot, if you look at Berlin noise picture, and how long it will be still black until you cut into white. Basically how high it would put it on the scale. All right, I have changed the setting a bit. I have level four, levels on five, scale on 15, and amplitude to about 15. And scale fade, let's change it a bit. If you leave it just on two, you can see that it has really strong these higher parts and really strict transition between them. But if I, I think that I should lower it to make it smoother. So let's do 1.2. Honestly, with these things, it's just better to experiment and find what you need. Yeah, if I put it lower, uh, more towards one, you can see that it's much smoother and it looks more like sand or something like that. If we talk in Minecraft terms. Let's do something super high, for example 5, that should give us like a really strict, almost no smooth transition for scale. Yeah, look at that, it's like Roblox pretty much. <laughs> Alright, let's set it to something that smoother, point, uh, 1.3, and look at what we can do with amplitude scale. If I lower it again, let's see what happens. 1.3, and you can see that we are going much, much lower in this case. But if I go high again... It will again smooth it up. So let's say that I want to have it all bigger. So one thing you can do here is to look at these two. What they basically do is to set how far from each other they are set. So let's say that I don't want one strict surface. I want to have, have these objects far from each other and, and player has to jump between them. So let's try to put this on 100. That should accomplish something. Click on play and look at that. Uh, that also means you will have to probably change a scale quite a lot, etc, etc. Let's try it a bit more closer to each other. Let's try 4 times... Uh, 40 times 40. They are still far from each other, but you can all, you can see that we are starting to see that noise, that amplitude. Let's try to put here bigger scale. About 30 and amplitude 70, I think. Let's try amplitude like 150. And you can see something much more bigger. Let's try 250, etc, etc. As I said, it's more about experimenting. Alright, let's put them again close together to 20 times 20. Alright, that looks pretty nice. Uh, but let's say that you want to have bigger these cubes. You can simply go into this instance transform scale and set up it to 0.3 times 0.3. Or you of course don't have to follow these ratios. Let's say that you want to have it super high on Z and X and Y should be same. So you can of course change this. You don't have to follow these constraints. You can play and hey, you have much bigger cubes right here. And you know what? When we are talking about it, I don't want to have, I don't want to have your cubes. Let's click on that. Uh, you have to find it because it won't from the start. Do do. So something like this, and let's put here editor cylinder. Yeah, now we have here cylinder, and change material to something. Blah, what is it here? Sign mat. Why not? Compile and click on play. And look at that, we have here material that wasn't compiled yet, but right now it's created from these cylindrical objects, which looks actually fine, kinda cool. You know what, you can now remake Minecraft with cylinders, that would be thousand dollars idea, like what a billion dollar idea. If, if you also want to scale how big that object should be, you can just increase these four loops, but be careful. 
because it can kind of crash the project so don't overdo it let's say that i will go pretty high let's dime let's do minus 40 times 40 which is i believe 80. no that will be more so let's compile let's compile that and see what it will do but be careful it will take a while oh, okay it wasn't that bad and now you can actually see that noise pretty much if i pick up again then picture you can probably start to see that Berlin noise, how it is looking there. So as I said, if you are looking for different Berlin noise, because we have different forms of noises, you can look into that other plugin that the guy made. Let's let's also now randomize it a little bit. So let's put here random integer in range between 1 and 256. Doesn't matter, I just put a number out of my ass, to be honest and put here a delay let's say that after every three seconds i want to reset it and do it all again so now every three seconds we should have new surface let's watch that it's generated pretty randomly but it has same setting for scale etc etc so let's change that so surface test right here and what you want to do is to put here random float in range let's go between eight 20 then let's do same thing here between 1 and 2 on scale same scale here and amplitude let's put it under random between 150 to 300 and let's let's randomize also levels so another random integer uh, maximum let's set to 5 and it should give us zero. I don't want zeros with levels. So a random integer in range. And let's go between one to eight. So now let's see what it will do. Okay. <laughs> that's holy crap, that's actually not that bad. But you can see that it creates some really cool stuff. Holy crap, that looks actually really cool. It would be like super cool for sci-fi city or something like that if you just use this as base because you of course don't need to use only one thing right you can use this algorithm to create the whole city like it wouldn't be that much of a problem it would be hard to generate but uh not that hard actually you could just create 10 different meshes for buildings and set different noise settings or non-noise setups for them and let them be generated in here. You can have one mesh for cylinders that are created right here in the air. It will be for, I don't know, airplanes or something like that. Then one for huge buildings right here, etc., etc. Another billion dollar ideas, guys. You are welcome. <laughs> because I don't, I'm not gonna do that. You will have to. <laughs> anyway, if you now look into, don't wanna go into engine, engine content, let's go back here. You can also put here volume and the thing is completely same if you just change it you have here just one more z direction z vector let's say if you want to see all nodes for this berlin noise you can just right click and it should be if you just put here berlin noise yeah you have here berlin noise for fracture noise blah 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 you can just basically copy settings from that example or just and add stuff that i have added here so hey that's about it i hope that you learned something i hope that you can now randomly generate worlds or just objects or levels whatever you wanna randomly generate right now you should randomly generate like for this video and that's about it that was just on the spot i'm actually kind of proud of myself that was that was good segue you should put that a like for that anyway that's about it sir fancy out